terms of albums, I find that, you know, for myself, for income wise, uh, I generate 10 to 15 percent of income just on album sales. Um, not so much just to the client itself, but also parent albums. Um, and for me, even more important than the 10 to 50 percent uh, portion of income is at the end of the day the marketing possibilities. Um, I find that if you deliver a disc, you know, people share it on Facebook, but obviously it doesn't get the same impact at the end of the day than if you deliver an album at your client's workplace and everybody's around there to look at it and stuff. So, um, I mean, obviously there's a, a financial contribution which, which helps to, you know, anybody would be happy to, to generate more income. But I find from a marketing perspective, um, you know, if my bride sees the work printed in a 50 by 40 album and stuff, if I open it up at work or family or bridesmaids and stuff, I mean, it immediately you get that, that extra kind of marketing. It, at the end of the day, if you think about it, the marketing is being paid by the client because you're making a profit out of it and you're getting free marketing. First and foremost, reasons for using QPhoto. Um, I think obviously out there we can find the same product at the shop next door. I think what is important is there is a large variety there. And also what's quite exciting is, is the fact that they've got new packaging um, for all the albums. Uh, I think for myself and my client it's quite important to have an experience when they receive their album at the end of the day rather than just getting the album. So, you know, at the end of the day it's, it's a small added uh, value, you know, in your packaging that's branded that, you know, kind of sets you apart from the guy next to you. I think when people see uh, the, the acrylic album on a coffee table or in a bookcase and stuff, it, it immediately draws attention and the person that's seeing it for the first time, uh, it's, it's very impressive. And I still find a lot of people out there that, that, that compliment it and say they've never seen something like this. So, so it, in, in a sense, I think it's been in the industry for quite a while, but it's still very, very popular in the sense that um, you know, people love the feel and the look of it and the fact that it's, it's very attractive. I actually get a lot of people that obviously come to you and say, oh, we want to do photography and what advice. And, and I think a lot of people think there's a silver bullet out there that, you know, if you go to this website or you go to this workshop, um, you, you know, you'll do that and then it's done. And unfortunately, you know, in our industry and stuff, I think most of the people that's been around for a long time will tell you, you, you know, there's no silver bullet. Um, I think obviously there's, there's a variety of, of sources and um, ways of learning and stuff which is awesome but at the end of the day you're going to need passion for it. I mean if, you, if you're in it for, for money you know you're quickly going to realize it's, it's just not it's not about the money. Yes you do make money after two or three years but the first two years I can honestly tell you it's school money I mean whatever you get you invest it again um, so, so yeah, you need to be passionate and stuff. There's no short-term solutions to making a name. Um, having said that, you do get opportunities, and I think you have to be ready for them. Um, you know, so so don't say you can't do it. Rather, figure it out and and, and go for it. Um, but yeah, and then also practice a lot. I mean, I think a lot of people. You know, it's it's not it's not maths or science where if you understand the concept, you can always just apply it. It's it's a it's a fine artist. Um, I think if you most schools will teach you how to draw hands. I think if, if I'm not mistaken, the human anatomy a hand is the most difficult thing to draw. And the guy that you know, if if you learn to draw that hand, it's you don't do it once and you've perfected it doing it over and over and over and, until you've done it. And, I, and, I, and I'm a big believer in the 10,000 hour rule as well. Um, we, look, I mean, there are diplomas that we can obviously do in photography, but I think at the end of the day, if you specialize in a subject, you know, you need to, to do the hours for it. There's no quick and easy way. It's, it's awesome to have the tools. And I mean, f f when I started out, I mean, what was available 10 years ago, was minimalistic. There were no workshops, <clears throat> internet, you know, YouTube was kind of in its infancy. 
uh, you know, creative lives. And so, so the tools are there. I think people can evolve a lot quicker and obviously get to a, a higher level um, and a lot shorter uh, period span. But at the end of the day, hard work and, and passion is, is what you need. There's no, there's no quick way around it, I mean, honestly. And there's no, you should think about it, there's no, nothing in life is quick and easy, you know, especially if you want to make a success of it.